Intel is down more than 27% for the last year. In this video, we're going to look at the reasons why the stock is down so much. And then we will try to come up with a fair value of the Intel stock. First of all, if you are not subscribed to the channel, you can do this by pressing this button. You will not miss a single video and it's absolutely free. I believe the main reason why the stock is down so much is competition with companies like AMD and it's visible in their numbers. The top line revenue is up only a little bit more than 1%. Compared to previous years, the revenue growth was much higher. The operating cash flow is down 15%. Management writes this is due to increased capital expenditures. I believe it's something to be expected because if Intel wants to compete, it needs to allocate additional capital for that. For example, recently they announced the construction site in Ohio not only revenue growth is slowing down, also the margins. If, for example, several years ago, they were at around 60%, right now they are projected to be at 52%. So not only the revenue growth is slowing down, but the margins are also decreasing. The management team outlined a plan till 2026 in which they project the annual, the compounded annual growth rate of 10 to 12%. This growth is much higher than in previous years. I believe the main question that we should answer is whether we believe in management. Will management will be able to turn around the company? Will they accomplish the growth rate of 10 to 12%? Okay, now let's try to come up with a fair value of Intel stock. First, we will need the growth rate. Management is expecting the growth rate of 10 to 12%. The average growth for the last 10 years was around 7%. So first let's take 7%. Then we need price to earnings. The average price to earnings for the last 5 years of Intel was 1374. The current earnings per share is 486. What we do is that we grow the current earnings per share using the growth rate. Then we multiply them by price to earnings and we discount them back to today using the required rate of return of 10%. I use 10% because the average return of the stock market is around 10%. I have made a video where I describe how I made this type of calculation. I will link to it in the end. As a result, we get the fair value of Intel stock of $48, which implies that it is trading around the fair value. Okay, now let's try to use the growth rate that management is projecting. So we take the same earnings per share and use the growth rate of 10%. As a result, we get the fair value of Intel stock of $64 per share. That implies around 40% upside. I believe the decision whether we should invest in Intel or not comes down to whether we believe if management will be able to turn around the company. If they do, the stock has substantial upside potential, but that is a big if. Personally, I have a small position at Intel, but I'm not planning to add more at the current price level. Please write in the comments below whether you think that management will be able to turn around the company. Here is the video where I talk about how to make this type of calculation. If you are not subscribed to the channel, you can do this by pressing this button. Thank you very much for watching to the end and see you in the next video.